Hi, today we will make this tax effect, you may have seen this, it got very popular last year. Many creators have covered this tutorials, I also decided to record a tutorial. So here we are using Photoshop for this tutorial. Let's type the name. I think bold or fat fonts work best in this effect. That's totally a personal preference, I will make a duplicate of the font layer as a spare, in case if I mess up. Right click and rasterize the layer. Choose any color from the color panel. Now turn on alpha lock for the layer by pressing this little square switch. By turning this on whatever you paint will be inside the text layer. Use brush tool to paint the color. Choose a lighter color and make small dots. You can make anything it doesn't matter. Now let's choose some sparkle brush, you'll find these under special effects brush inside Photoshop. Now spray some sparkles with different colors. This is totally random. The best thing about this effect is whatever you create is going to turn out unique. So don't be afraid to experiment. Now unlock the layer and make a duplicate of the layer. Name it as Liquify. Turn off the original layer. While this layer is selected, go to the effects menu and select Liquify. It'll open up this window. Here you can play around with the effect. This is the size of the brush and below is the pressure. It tells how strong or how big is the Liquify brush. With all the settings I want to go with, let's mess with the text. Just drag it like so. In a summary, we usually spend time to create things. But for this effect you have to destroy things. That's the definition, erasing is much more easy than writing. You'll notice that I am keeping it thick instead of making small thin lines. Probably because I am going to post it on social media, and social media compress the images, thin lines will appear blurry or pixelated. When you are done destroying you can press OK button. It looks like this. Let's make a duplicate of this layer. Go to effects menu and apply box blur. Choose these settings according to your preference. Set the blend mode to linear dodge add. Lower down the opacity. Put this layer below the original. Make a duplicate of the blurred layer and put it above. You can experiment with blend modes. Select these three layers and group them. Now duplicate the group folder. Right click and merge this. You should end up with something like this. Now all there is left is to stylize it further. Choose a brush and spray some sparkles. Just add random sparkle particles. Make a duplicate of this layer. Press Ctrl plus T on your keyboard and resize it. It should look like reflection. Align it further with the text. Lower down the opacity of reflection layer. Erase small amount of the layer. Duplicate the layer and set blend mode to lighten. Head over to effects menu and apply motion blur effect. Lower down the opacity. Set the blend mode to hard light. Make a new layer below all these layers. Choose a good color that matches well with the text. Paint the color with a soft brush. It'll give a nice lighting to the image. You can 
create a hue saturation adjustment layer, in case if you want to experiment with different colors. But I don't feel the need to do so, this color looks fine to me. This is not necessary but you can create further details such as I'm making a leaf here. Last thing is to create new layer above all. Go to the image menu. Here click apply image. Now all your layers are a single image. You can apply field or iris blur to the image to give it depth of field effect. And do some more color corrections. And that's all for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new. If it was helpful, subscribe to the channel. I am recording a cool lyric video tutorial. Till the next video, goodbye.